bad environments are, are playing with fire. Sometimes people need to get away from the sinful environments they're in because those very atmospheres are, are conducive to falling. They're conducive to falling into a bad lifestyle, a bad way to live. Uh, it, almost like, um, you know, when there used to be smoking sections, you know, in the restaurants or on the airplane even. You know, you know, you're having a smoking section here and you got the seat behind that. <laughs> how, many know, how many know it didn't matter at that point whether you were smoking, you walked out of there smelling like you did? Yeah? Uh, that's the case with spiritual climates and atmospheres. When you put yourself in the wrong one, you stay there long enough, you end up smelling like that atmosphere. And sometimes they are conducive only to failure, only to falling, you know, I, I think uh, that an atmosphere like this, a church service, we worship God, we preach the word, people are generally smiling, you know, we're encouraging one another, we're having a good time. This is, this atmosphere, and let alone the presence of God and the manifest anointing, this atmosphere is conducive to a better life. It really is. The time spent in here in this environment makes your marriage better. It makes your emotions better. It will help you financially. You'll see clearer and make better decisions. It's just a fact, okay? When we are doing the things of God and, and doing what we're doing, it's conducive to a better life. The atmosphere is helpful, all right? But think about it. How much time do we spend here? Now, if you're thinking too long... <laughs> You might be missing the point. <laughs> but seriously, if, if we did mega services on Sunday and did, you know, really long services, still, still, what would be the percentage of time we're spending in this atmosphere for the whole week? It's not very much. In other words, I feel like it's, I, I feel like, I, I know it's insufficient to carry us through all the junk of this world. This is helpful. It's not sufficient. Sometimes we need to recognize, you know, I'm putting myself in these environments and I'm not changing those environments right now. They're changing me. And that's where we have to be honest with ourselves. We are not coming, we're not going to escape this world. We're in the midst of a, of a crooked and perverse generation. We're supposed to be a light in the middle of it. But we need to be honest with ourselves sometimes if we're being more influenced than they are by us. Yeah? And the only way I can be a good influence continually is I have to spend a whole lot of time in the right atmosphere. Sometimes you have to move out of Sodom or you're going to end up just like everybody else there. 